I'm Carly. You ready? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel! In this episode, we're gonna reveal everything we know so far about the iCarly reboot 2 and how the revival is different from the original show. We've been waiting for years for our favorite characters to reunite, and now it's time to enjoy it. Stay till the end so you can know all of the significant differences from the original Nickelodeon classic that concluded nearly a decade ago. On our last webcast, Sam and I told you to go to iCarly.com and click that feedback button. And man, you people clicked on that sucker like it was your job! Good news, iCarly is officially back on Paramount Plus, and those people who have already watched the first season of the revival can confirm that it's a little different from the original Nickelodeon show. The first season aired in June 2021, and it featured many of the audience's favorite actors returning to the show, as well as introducing us to some new faces. All the fans who have watched the first season all claim that the show shares many core qualities with its predecessor and seems to chase the that original audience. And now, it was recently announced that the new Hot Fresh Season 2 is ready to drop on April 8th, and those episodes and the series will stream exclusively on Paramount Plus in the US, Canada, Latin America, Australia, and the Nordics. The official description of the iCarly Season 2 says, The 10-episode second season of Paramount Plus's iCarly picks up right after the first season ended, with Carly refocusing her attention on her friends and family following her romantic complications all while working to boost her revived web channel. Spencer and Harper must also navigate new personal and career developments, while Freddie balances raising Millicent with a new app and a new girlfriend. The series stars Miranda Cosgrove as Carly, Jerry Trainer as Spencer, Nathan Kress as Freddie, Lacey Mosley as Harper, and Jaden Triplett as Millicent. It seems like there are so many things that are very different right now, but what exactly? He would work himself up and flail around like a bird with another bird up its ass! <laughs> Yeah! First, let's talk about the original series that aired on Nickelodeon for six seasons, from 2007 to 2012, and was created by Dan Schneider, who had a string of Nickelodeon hits. However, his career ended in 2018 when Ali Schutner became a new person in charge for the reboot. No wonder the new series is different from the original one, as Ali is way different from Dan Schneider, plus it happened nearly a decade after the original series ended. Our actors grew up, the world changed, but the reboot still pivots around Carly, navigating adulthood in a way many young millennials will be able to relate to. This time, the show has no intent to be what it was before. The brand new reboot has grown up as well as the actors and characters and became a show that deals with mature themes in a fun and comical way. And this is exactly the main thing that has changed and entailed the rest of the changes in the reboot. Of course, nothing has changed like really a lot. The cast has returned for the reboot, and this is very important. Important. While watching the reboot, it won't make you feel like you're watching an absolutely different movie, but there are some details that have changed. Behold! My latest piece! Oh. Is this Vin Diesel? Yep! It's also important to highlight the main differences between this reboot and the original series is that the characters are grown up right now and we can see the core of their personalities. The fact that the characters are mature now is actually the sign of a good reboot. It means that we're not trying to stay the same. They are trying to improve themselves and this is exactly what makes this revival really good. Consequently, none of the changes hurt the series, instead they actually aid in its success. I thought you were dying! I'm sorry. Did you say raw sausage? <laughs> Here's another big difference. Carly's character has proven that she doesn't need a co-host anymore. If you watched the original iCarly series, you probably know that Carly had a co-star, her best friend Sam. Due to the fact that Jeanette McCurdy, who played Sam, announced in 2020 that she quit her acting career, there is no co-host in the reboot. Even though some critics and experts were kind of skeptical about that fact that Carly has no co-host, Carly did well. Of course, it feels different that there's no Sam in the reboot, but in the revival's pilot, it, this is rather quickly addressed by Carly and Freddie, with Carly explaining that Sam is off following her bliss with that biker gang. So while Sam may not physically be in this revival, they definitely stay true to her character even off screen. Even after Jeanette stated in her podcast that she was ashamed of all the roles she had, she said she was ashamed of her Nickelodeon experience and it was embarrassing for her. I resent my career in a lot of ways. I feel so unfulfilled by the roles that I played and I felt like it was the most cheesy and embarrassing, said Jeanette and the Empty Inside podcast. I took my new motorcycle for a little test run. Dude, that thing is a rocket on wheels. 
Of course, the fans will miss Sam so much, but this is a really good opportunity to explore Carly's personality and her relationships just a little bit more. Basically, the dynamic shift forces Carly to do things on her own, and if you remember Carly from the original series, she really did something on her own. Yeah, Carly's old and new friends are super supportive and helpful over her, but she's got to deal with things on her own when she's not alone, when her friends go their separate ways. This is exactly what happened to her in the first episode when she decided to reboot her channel. But this is what helped her develop confidence and she literally proved that she doesn't really need a co-host anymore. However, in the reboot, Carly has a new best friend and roommate. Her name is Harper and she is a Sky Bucks barista and her biggest dream is to become a fashion stylist. Many fans also think that Harper is a really amazing stand-in for Sam. Her wild streak is amazing and Harper's mischievous antics become key elements of the show. Harper is played by Lacey Mosley and it's true that she's already winning audiences over by capitalizing an iCarly meatball franchising and chasing a date out of the apartment wearing a chicken suit in what was potentially a love affair gone wrong. The chicken suit scene is just one example of the show's foray into mature themes and innuendos. If you haven't watched the reboot yet at all, you will 100% like it. Moreover, Harper is the show's first LGBTQ character whose dating life on the show was described as interesting and all over the place. It'll be really interesting to continue watching her adventure. This detail gives the show a great opportunity to explore the things that the Nickelodeon show for teens couldn't do earlier. Now they can absolutely explore adult situations for older audiences, which is really cool. Trust me, I am in no place to date. See, just that self-awareness tells me you totally are. The next difference is Freddy has changed a lot. We all remember him as a dorky, lovable neighbor. And even more than Freddy, we remember his overprotective mother. In the new reboot, we realize that Freddy had two divorces and he's also failed in business as he's lost everything, including an enterprising tech startup. But he's not alone and he also has a daughter that he and his second wife had previously adopted. And now, his mission is to prove that he's a really good father. It's really interesting interesting to watch Freddy try to be a good parent and it absolutely changes his character. Well, parenting really does change people, so no wonder Freddy is different in the reboot. Another significant difference is that the iCarly series can be watched now by not only teens but adults as well as it aired on Paramount+. Plus. It basically means that the show expanded its audience, and it definitely makes sense as the cast grows up as we've already mentioned. There are more opportunities to explore adult situations for older audiences, and it's cool that those who grew up enjoying the original series will certainly find the revival not only entertaining but also relatable. If you watched the first season of the reboot, you'll remember that it featured the problems that many, almost all, adult people are facing in their lives. Breakups, rebounds, the dangers of social media, and has featured near consistent alcohol consumption. Now all hands in on three. One, two, three. Yay! Yay! You probably should have gone over it before. How is it going to be in season two? Will you explore it by yourself on April 8th? And yes, on April 8th, the platform is about to drop two episodes. The other eight episodes are left and will be released weekly on Fridays. Are you excited to know that the second iCarly reboot is on its way? We're dying to know your opinion, so share your thoughts with us in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next episode. Whoever said Harper couldn't pull this off was seriously misguided. <laughs> <laughs>